Good morning guys. Just gonna try and fix the view a bit so that you can see me and at the same time see all the stuff I'm doing. So in this video I will talk a bit about this error message. I did make uh, another video that uh, dealt with this exact same error message. Um, but on that video I did actually also or actually it was on the Facebook page where I uh, at some point posted a video. I got a message saying that uh, for me that was uh, about removing a raft layer and in my case it had been adding a raft layer because the initial layer couldn't be printed. So I have this model here. The model is based on actually uh, Printing the pastomatic um, uh, spool winder, and uh, I had been fiddling around with settings because I was printing the different parts with different settings and different filaments and different uh, infills and such. And eventually, when I uh, sort of uh, went back to the uh, one I was gonna print, like this one, I saw, oh, I get this error message here. And why am I getting that? Uh, so in initially I thought, uh, because I was looking at the prepare view and I was looking at the underside, uh, let me see, when I had this one selected, I could see these, I just accidentally saw these uh, white edges. And I thought, oh, hmm, um, are those the parts that don't have a layer? So I initially I saw this wrong, um, but the model was exactly correctly made, so that wasn't the issue. Uh, <coughs> at some point I was decided I would just you know compare side by side with the the other view like this. So I kept going back and forth between that one and the other one, and I ended up getting to the support interface and I got some message saying that when I'm printing with a prime tower I cannot have different uh, raft layers for each object and so I went and I disabled the prime tower and it sort of went away but then it came back the error uh, and what I initially found was if you go into the global model here, you will see you have a standard setting for how many raft layers you have. Uh, but you can override that, that setting, so I tried to disable it there, but it was still there. So you can override the settings and for, in my case, it's the plate 1. And you have the target plate is that object. And then have the target arm is that object and the encapsulated arm is that object. And I think the reason I am getting this is because of these cylinders here, which doesn't fully 100% seem to go through because it's negative objects and they don't really seem to go 100% through the, uh, the plate and what happens is that if I am printing with the raft layers uh, as far as I can see it is like there is like a tiny tiny gap between that and the bottom and it's sort of I, I honestly don't know which object it is from what I could see this one is the object that gets identified as being uh, wrongly situated with a raft layer um, but even if I remove rafts from that I still get the error but uh, I did find that if I initially go in and uh, set the raft layers to zero for all of these items on that build plate because these are positive items it's only the ones I can change it for so uh, and I need to use the target plate there because it's sort of connected and if I set these to zero 
then suddenly uh, when I slice the plate it will be able to slice it without a uh, problem. So now you can see there is no error and it is perfectly able to uh, slice the plate. Originally I had a negative part on top of this uh, section here thought that was causing the problems uh, but it wasn't. So I can confirm that there are instances where you need to put a raft layer if you get that error message and there are instances where you need to remove it and in my case if you have different objects on the same build plate and you set some of them to have a raft layer you get this message here a prime tower requires that all objects are printed over the same number of raft layers either that be one two or zero which means that to remove I, I got that error first if to remove this I got uh, to remove all the all the raft layers here and uh, in, in, in effect if you remove and set this to zero for all the plates, uh, all the objects, then it will fall back usually to this one, but this one is now set to two, so the, therefore it overrides uh, as I, I manually set it to zero for the objects. Um, if I set it to this to zero, as I said, it uh, it can slice, but uh, it will be overwritten by the setting of the object itself. Now it's zero everywhere so it slices fine and um, uh, so yeah um, now it has nothing I'll just revert that back to two because that's what I use for most of them uh, and then, so yeah, uh, if you get this error, uh, actually I have the multi selected now, maybe it will change it for all of them, I think so. Yeah, change for all of them. And now you see you get the error again because there is a mismatch because of the raft layers. So you can reduce it to one, still get the same error. So, thought I would share that. I have actually confirmed that it can be either way. It really depends on the situation and the uh, model files. I think if you have really thin models, then you have to add a raft. If you have models with a, a good base, like here, then it's more about uh, removing the, the raft layers. Um, or you can try printing them on separate build plates if you really want to use raft layers for it. So that was it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in 2025. And uh, I just would like to say uh, to all my supporters and people who subscribe and watch my videos in the previous year, thank you so much. And it is motivating to get a lot of comments and uh, it is motivating to uh, get a lot of comments saying that, oh, that's not entirely correct uh, and such, because it makes me better. As I said, uh, I created this channel as a, a newbie, and I'm still making newbie videos because that is sort of the perspective I want, that um, people will uh, hopefully learn from my videos, and yeah, happy new year, and uh, Happy belated Christmas.